welcome to the Royals Project YouTube channel. Please feel free to check out all of our character videos and let us know if you have any cool ideas on things characters could do in a video. Hi there, it's me, Kristoff. Welcome to Storytime with the Royals Project. I'm so excited you're here to read with you. I'm going to read with you one of my favorite books. Now, this book is called The Day the Crayons Quit, and it's written by Drew Daywalt and illustrated by Oliver Jeffries. Let's get started. This book is dedicated to Marichelle, Abigail, and Reese, and to Ewan O.J. The Day the Crayons Quit One day in class, Duncan went to take out his crayons and found a stack of letters with his name on them. Stack of letters? That sounds pretty important. To Duncan. Hey Duncan, it's me, Red Crayon. We need to talk. You make me work harder than any of your other crayons. All year long, I wear myself out coloring, fire engines, apples, strawberries, and everything else that's red. I even work on the holidays. I have to color all the Santas at Christmas and all the hearts on Valentine's Day. I need a rest. Your overwork friend, Red Crayon. Wow, it must not be very nice to feel overworked all the time. But you're right, he does have to work the holidays coloring those Santa Clauses in. Let's see what happens next. He got another letter. Dear Duncan, all right, listen. I love that I'm your favorite crayon for grapes, dragons, and wizard hats, but it makes me crazy that so much of my gorgeous color goes outside the lines. If you don't start coloring inside the lines soon, I'm going to completely lose it. Your very neat friend, Purple Crayon. Wow, this Purple Crayon sure seems pretty frustrated that they're coloring outside the lines. But he sure is good at drawing dragons and wizards. You got another letter? Duncan, Gray Crayon here. You're killing me. I know you love elephants, and I know the elephants are gray, but that's a lot of space to color in all by myself and don't even get me started on your rhinos your hippos your humpback whales you know how tired i am after handling one of those things such big animals baby penguins are gray you know so very tiny rocks pebbles how about one of those once in a while to give me a break your very tired friend gray cran yeah, if you think about it, there's a lot of really big gray animals. That gray crayon must be very tired. I wonder if he got any more letters. Uh-oh. Hi, Duncan. I hate being used to draw the outlines of things. Things are colored in by other colors, all of which think they're brighter than me. It's not fair when you use me to draw a nice beach ball and then fill in all the colors of the beach ball with all the other colors. How about a black beach ball sometime? Is that too much to ask? Your friend, Black Crayon. Wow, I never thought about how black crayons might feel left out drawing the outside lines and not getting to fill in the color. Oh man, another letter? This one's from Green. Dear Duncan, as Green Crayon, I am writing for two reasons. One is to say that I like my work. Loads of crocodiles, trees, dinosaurs, and frogs. I have no problems. And I wish to congratulate you on a very successful Coloring Things Green career so far. The second reason I write is for my friends, Yellow, and Cran Yellow Crayon and Orange Crayon, who are no longer speaking to each other. Both crayons feel they should be the color of the sun. Please settle this, and soon, because they're driving the rest of us crazy. Your happy friend, Green Crayon. Well, that is sure is nice of the Green Crayon to be looking out for others. He reminds me a lot of Anna. She's always looking out for others. Oh, speak of 
Yellow Crayons. Yellow Crayons next. Dear Duncan, Yellow Crayon here. I need you to tell Orange Crayon that I am the color of the sun. I would tell him, but we are no longer speaking. And I can prove that I am the color of the sun too. Last Tuesday, you used me to color in the sun on your Happy Farm coloring book. In case you've forgotten, it's on page 7. You can't miss me. I'm shining down brilliantly on the field of yellow corn. Your pal and the true color of the sun, Yellow Crayon. Well, looks like Green was right. Yellow Crayon seems pretty upset. Oh, Orange Crayon's written in too. Dear Duncan, I see Yellow Crayon already talked to you. The big whiner. Anyway, could you please tell Mr. Tattletail that he is not the color of the sun? I would, but we're no longer on speaking terms. We both know I am clearly the color of the sun, because on Thursday you used me to color the sun on both the Monkey Island and the Meet the Zookeeper pages in your Day at the Zoo coloring book. Orange, you glad I'm here? <laughs> Puns. Your pal and the real color of the sun, Orange Crayon. I don't know, what do you guys think? Should the sun be yellow or orange? Or could it be both? Wow, I wonder how many colors are left. Let's take a look. Wow, there's even more letters. Dear Duncan, it has been great being your favorite color this past year, and the year before, and the year before that. I have really enjoyed all the oceans, the lakes, the rivers, the raindrops, the clouds, and clear skies. Let's not forget those water horses, am I right? But the bad news is that I'm so short and stubby that I can't even see over the railing of the crayon box anymore. I need to need a bit. I need a break. Your very stubby friend, Blue Crayon. I can relate to Blue Crayon. We all need a break sometimes. Even Anna and Elsa have to take breaks from their busy jobs looking after Aaron. But you can tell by the picture that that Blue is getting a lot of work. Reminds me of Grey Crayon. Pink crayons next? That's one of Anna's favorite colors. Duncan, okay, listen here, kid. You have not used me once in the past year. It's because you think I'm a girl's color, isn't it? Speaking of which, please tell your little sister that I said thank you for using me to color her little princess coloring book. I think she did a fabulous job of staying inside the lines. Now back to us. Could you please use me sometime to color the occasional pink dinosaur or monster or cowboy? Goodness knows they could use a splash of color. Your unused friend, Pink Crayon. Wow, that's gotta be pretty rough for Pink Crayon to feel like he's not getting used. We should try to use our crayons equally from the way it sounds. Here's another letter. Hey Duncan, it's me, Peach Crayon. Why did you peel off my paper wrapping? Now I'm naked and too embarrassed to leave the crayon box. I don't ever have any underwear. How would you like to How would you like to go to school naked? I need some clothes. Help your naked friend, Peach Crayon. Wow, that poor Peach Crayon, he must be pretty embarrassed to walk around with clothes on. Although, Sven doesn't ever seem very embarrassed from walking around with no clothes on, but I guess he's a reindeer. Well, poor Duncan just wanted to color, and of course he wanted his crayons to be happy. And that gave him an idea. When Duncan showed his teacher his new picture, she gave him an A for coloring. That's a really colorful picture, and he used all the crayons. I bet you they feel a lot more happy. And he got an A plus for creativity. The end. Wow, that was a really good book. And it really goes to show you that you have to think about others, even if they're crayons. And you want everyone to feel like they're being used equally. Sometimes it's hard to make everyone happy, but it sounds like Duncan did a really good job. Thank you so much for joining us for story time. And I was really happy to see you. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. I hope you enjoyed our video. Please be sure to check out more about the Royals Project and, oh, what did I do to see more videos? I wanna be,
where the videos are. I want to see, want to see them pronto. All you have to do is click, and what's that word? Subscribe!